happy day, I'm good. <laughs> and last time I went to jail, I did not last long. I didn't last long at all. Jail is a very dangerous place to be. So my goal today is to be the oldest person in jail. Of course, I'm gonna try to get up to some stuff while I'm in there, but I'm going to try to not die because dying is a very easy thing to do. And Caesar Gump, his stats are stacked. He was born from a good family, a planned pregnancy. His dad is an Air Force enlistee. He's a good guy, okay? We love Caesar Gump. And unfortunately, his life is going to take a turn for the worse, but we're gonna try to take care of him. This is gonna be one of those guys who's just a good guy, you know? Vaccination, your mother wants you to get vaccinated. You vaccinated? Your mom wants you to get vaccinated and I'm gonna stay calm. I don't quite know yet how Caesar Gump ends up in jail because he's got cancer of the buttocks, okay. about to say I don't know how such a good kid ends up in prison, but I think Caesar Gump here has something to be mad about and he's about to be very, very mad. We're gonna go to the medical doctor, Trisha Spanky. Cure me up, girl. I continue to have cancer of the buttocks. Okay, well that made my health go down a lot. Uh, we're gonna go to LaShonda Wigglesworth because I still have coverage. This doesn't cost me money. I still have cancer of the buttocks. Mm -hmm. Can I go to the emergency room, please? You were taken to the emergency room. It helped a little, but I still have butt cancer. Help me! Help me, please. Okay, I, I guess I'm just gonna have to like go to the emergency room every year until a doctor can treat me. Please? <gasps> I'm so young. I have so much life to live. Oh, oh, my health, my happiness. No, please. I'm gonna die right away. Please, somebody, somebody cure me. Do I have to go to the witch doctor? Is that what you're trying to force me to do right now? I have insomnia. <gasps> no, Caesar Gump! Le Caesar Gump. Treat cancer, come on. I still have cancer, what about insomnia? Okay, I don't have insomnia anymore, which is great. I'm definitely gay. Some of the boys have invited you to the movie theater. Hopefully they invited me because they actually like me and not because they feel sorry for me. I'm gonna go with them anyway because I need some happiness. That brought my happiness up a lot. My health, uh, my health, uh, I have to fix my health. Uh, it's not working. Your parents wanna take you on a family vacation. I'm gonna be appreciative and go. Oh my goodness, I'm old enough to take my, I'm, I'm not gonna take my driving test because who cares? Oh, I could have boosted my health, but I skipped it. Yeah. Okay, I've graduated from high school. I'm gonna take some time off because I've got a lot of things that I'm dealing with right now. And uh, what can we do? Mind and body. I mean, will going to the gym help? I don't have any money. Mom, dad, can I please have money, please? Jonathan Gump, great guy. Asking him for money, please. He gave me 200 bucks. That's enough money to go to the gym. I'm swole. I have E. coli? Okay, my immune system is just not good right now. This is it. This is what we're gonna do, okay? This is it. I'm going to go to the witch doctor. And the witch doctor is either going to kill me right now or it's gonna be a good time. And if I die, I'm just gonna have to try to get old and get to jail again. But please, please, a chihuahua hair. I took a chihuahua hair. It didn't do anything. And it costed me all of my money. Mom, can I borrow some money? Okay, she gave me $145. We're gonna try to go to the witch doctor again. Another chihuahua hair? Okay, I'm gonna go to the next year and hopefully she's offering something a little better than a chihuahua hair. How about that? Come on, the witch doctor, come on. A fermented shark, please. It's only $72. The $72 might fix everything. I hope it does because I need to be old. I need to be old. The witch doctor cured my cancer! The witch doctor cured my cancer! I can live a full life! I can go to jail! I can do everything that I've always wanted to do! My health! My happiness! Oh my goodness, I can't believe- I cannot believe this. This is the best thing that's ever happened to me. But I'm still mad at the card that I was dealt in my life. So mad, in fact, that, well, first of all, I, I gotta work on my looks. So I'm gonna go to the gym first, and then we're gonna get into it. Okay, my looks are good. Happiness is good. Health is good. Smarts are good. Time to commit some crimes. And who am I gonna blame? for everything that's happened to me. You know who I'm gonna blame? The rich. I'm gonna do a burglary. I'm gonna do a local politician, okay? For not putting enough money into research. I'm burgling the home. Oh no, he's home! Okay, I got, I got a... Uh, no, no, his dog's gonna catch me. No, 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 no! I was surrounded! There was no way that I could do that! The local politician's dog caught you and drew attention to the cops. Three years in prison and all I can do is get a public defender. I have been convicted and I'm going to jail. Since I am in a minimum security prison, I feel like my chances of living are 
pretty good, I think. So we're gonna try to uh, get a prison job, get a little pay going, and then commit an even worse crime, and then hopefully get upgraded to a scarier prison. Four dollars a day, three dollars a day, this pay is all horrible. I'm gonna do boiler room maintenance. Requesting a job? I mean, I kind of want to cry, but I don't think I will. I'm gonna go to the prison yard and try to make some friends, because last time I was just trying to fight the whole time, and Ebenezer looks like a nice guy, so I'm gonna compliment Ebenezer. I told him he's intriguing. He did not mind. What can I do to, like, be happier in prison? I'm gonna write a letter to my dad and be like, Hey, I'm so sorry for what's going on. For your eyes only, you sent your father a letter. He replied to you and told you that he'll be sending money soon! Thanks, dad! Oh my god, my dad loves me so much. I was diagnosed with fish odor syndrome. I thought that if I was in this, like, little prison that's, like, minimum security and, like, not a lot of bad guys go here, that I'd be fine, but fish odor syndrome? Help me! Please, I need to go to the infirmary. I'm gonna ask politely. They treated me for fish odor syndrome. I was treated. Am I healthier now? Hello? Maybe I can have like a little boyfriend in prison. That'd be fun. You've been released from prison. Okay. I made two grand in prison. That's a pretty good haul. And now we're gonna go straight back, but this time I wanna go to a more dangerous prison. Actually, but first I'm gonna like upgrade my stats a little bit. I'm gonna go to the movies. I'm gonna go see a comedy. That would make me happy. Boink. I'm gonna go to the gym. Yes, sir. I'm gonna go see a documentary because I love those. Politicians without limits. Ugh. That one made me mad. It made me so mad, in fact, that I'm going to commit a crime. We're gonna want to go to a really bad one. So we're gonna do a random missionary because I love my family. I really do. <laughs> I'm gonna club them. Oh, I almost picked my mom by accident. That would have been a disaster. I'm gonna commit the murder. You tried to hit a missionary over the head with a stick. I probably should have used a heavier stick because what I really used was a branch about this size. And he was just like, are you, are you trying to kill me? He didn't like that. Ah, life sentence. This is what we needed. Public defender. I'm getting the worst lawyer there humanly could be. And I was sentenced to life. I'm going to a maximum security prison. Let's go. My behavior is like halfway. I mean, I just got here and nobody respects me. Hmm. Do I get their respect? How do I get the guards to like me? Maybe I'll get a prison job? I'm gonna be a sanitation worker just so I can like be like, hey man, to the prison guards and maybe they'll like me more. Completely unprovoked. Another inmate named Bullwinkle randomly punches me in the schnoz. What do you do? <laughs> I'm trying to live as long as possible, I don't know. But you know what? I'm gonna live like a big man and I'm gonna scuffle with him. I charged Bullwinkle. I popped his eyeball. I banged his mouth and I squeezed his hair. I hate getting my hair squeezed, poor thing. Ow. He stormed me. He squashed my ear and elbowed my buttocks. My prison sentence has been extended. He attacked me first. Oh, I'm gonna go to the infirmary because I'm sick. I'm gonna ask politely. They treated me for, oh, I still have fish odor syndrome. I should have went to a doctor when I was out of prison. Oh, my father has retired from the Air Force and I didn't even get to go to his retirement party. They're gonna have little hot dogs there. Those are my favorite. Oh, what do I do? I'm gonna work out. I have to stay healthy. The leader of the local chapter of the Tattletail Squad prison gang has approached you and asked you to join his gang. What will you do? Now, I would really like to join a gang really badly because I want to have protection because I want to live for as long as possible. But at the same time, they're unfeared. They have very low notoriety. And I'm just really afraid that they have beef with like the Bittison Mafia or the Plastics or like a gang that's really scary. And then I'm just gonna be sitting here with the Tattletales. If you're in prison, why would you call yourself a Tattletale? We might as well just be like the Rat Squad, the Loser Squad, the Nobody Likes Us Squad. Should I join them? Mm. I mean, they're the only ones offering right now, but maybe, uh, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I can always leave them. So I'm gonna join them and see what happens if I get killed because I'm part of this gang. I'm gonna be so upset. Since I'm not respected anyway, I might as well cry. <laughs> I sobbed my heart out during the meal in the mess hall. Your fellow prisoners made fun of the way you cry. I am an ugly crier. Like I could just be like, but instead I'm like, eh! like I go full Kim. My mother retired. I cried. What a story. While showering, an unhinged inmate named Wolf slaps the bar of soap out of your hands. What will you do? Do I call on my gang? My gang are a bunch of losers. I'm gonna get so hurt. Uh, oh, I mean, it's all I can do. I'm gonna call my gang. Your gang, the Tattletail Squad, said they couldn't help you deal with him? Oh, 
no. You know what, Tattletail gang? I'm leaving you, you suck. And I need my respect. I need my respect real bad. So what we're gonna do, what we gonna do is we're gonna go to the prison yard. Wait, I'm gonna start a riot. Yeah, I'm gonna start a riot. <laughs> okay, I gotta be really careful with the way my fingers are for this because like, this is tough. Let's go. Close calls all over the place. Oh, we got a we got a squad here. Oh, 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 oh! Look at all these people joining this riot. Oh, oh, oh no! It didn't work. Your attempt to start a prison riot was unsuccessful. Are you kidding me? I got like eight guys. What the heck? What am I supposed to do? Like make a giant snake and then surround a cop? Like I thought I was just trying to collect people for my thing. Okay, my respect went up a little bit though. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna work out because I have to, I have to get swole. Cause guess what we are doing? We're getting into a little fight. We're getting into a fight with Scar. He's not part of a gang, so I won't get hurt. I'm gonna mess with him. Boom. Yeah. You told Scar that he will be letting you win at dominoes from now on. Take that, Scar. Ow. He whacked me with a brick? He shattered my cap? What are we? What are we, what are we uh. I need, please, infirmary, please. They treated me for fish odor syndrome. I need more than that, infirmary people. The guards refused to take you to the infirmary. They told you to rub some dirt in it. I need an emergency room and I'm really sad. Oh, I'm gonna meditate. I meditated in my cell, that helped a little. I'm gonna go to the library, read some books. Hopefully nobody bullies me. I have to work out. And please, infirmary, please let me in. Please let me in. The treatments in prison are horrible, horrible. Oh no, my mom died. She, she choked on a hot dog. I can't attend the funeral. Can I even say hello? I have anxiety? My health is so bad. What do I do? Okay, I'm gonna cry. I have to. You cried your eyes out as you were laying on the ground in the prison yard. The other prisoners started whistling at you. Whistling at me? What do you mean? I had something in my eye, okay? I have to let out my emotions somehow. They don't let me go to the infirmary. They don't give me anything good. A brawny inmate named Bait is trying to force you to get a tattoo of his face on my legs? What'll you do? Okay, the problem is I want respect, but I'm afraid that if I battle this guy, he's gonna kill me. So I don't know what to do. I can either battle him, insult him, refuse to do that, or do what he wants. If I do what he wants, I'm not gonna get the respect that I deserve. I'm gonna battle him. I'm gonna risk it all. I lunged at bait. I smacked his forearm and I banged his eyebrow. Ooh, Ow. he attacked me. Ooh, people have a lot of bricks in this prison. I keep getting whacked in the head with bricks and I died at 32. Yikers. I survived cancer, died to a brick. It's rough in prison. I mean, if you think about it, 30's pretty old, in a way. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you would like to see more BitLife Prison Update. If you'd ever like to see me again, make sure you hit push notifications, and I will see ya on the next one. Bye!